Hi, this is Infrared Wind. Russ McClay here in Second Life. This is episode two. And the the first episode we described basically the mission here and, and the fact that try to keep these episodes at five minutes. So in episode one we uh, showed the map because I felt that if we Second Life is a virtual reality, it's a virtual world, so let's, you know, kind of start with the map and get an overview of the real estate or the world that we're talking about. And I'm going to continue that uh, in this episode. So episode two is going to be more looking into the map and uh, a little bit about how vast um, Second Life really is. So let's get started right away. I'm going to open up the map here of Second Life. And one cool thing is, is uh, there are web versions of this map that you can open up, um, kind of explore around. Okay. Now what we see right now is a lot, okay, I think we're really at the extents of the map in Second Life. Um, you can see you know, just really hundreds of these little dots, which I'll explain in a minute. But basically, those are private sims. And I mean, people pay real money to buy those and to create on those. Now here, what we're looking at is really the, um, the main part of Second Life. That yellow, uh, which I often refer to as gold dot, that's where I am at the moment. And this is the old mainland here, that where my dot is and the land below it, and that white area down there, that whole thing is part of the original Second Life. Now, to the south of that, we see another continent. And to the northeast, we see a lot of other large kind of uh, land areas. Now, another interesting thing, if, if I keep scrolling out here, I had mentioned in episode one how they had to, you know, uh, stop gambling because of federal law in the United States, which is where Second Life hails from, um, Linden Lab in the Bay Area of California. And here, here on this, uh, this, this continent way out in the middle of nowhere is where they allow um, sex type, you know, sims uh, act and activities, virtual sex. Uh, you know, like, you know, what are we talking about here? Well, it, imagine like a like a nightclub scene where there are pole dancers. And again, these are all, uh, this is virtual reality. These would be just, you know, digital representations. Uh, but yeah, because of certain issues, they had to kind of segregate that out. All right, so now let's go back to the main map. And what I'd like to do, at least to achieve in this um, episode is just kind of what's happening. So I'm going to zoom in. What's happening on the map? What can we do here? And I'm, I'm zooming in on a dot here. Now you may, we see these color, this kind of dark burgundy color. That means that particular sim is rebooting or down or being, uh, make, uh, doing maintenance on it or whatever. But now we can see some of these individual sims. Uh, there's one there. Now a lot of these are private. You can't, you know, if I try to go there, um, I'm going to get kicked off right away or I won't even be able to go there. But let's back off again and I'm going to go back into where I am. And you can see that actually right now there's a lot of sims that are being either serviced or rebooted or whatever. But I'm going to go back into where I am and I'm going to show one of the cool things uh, that we can do in Second Life is I see, for instance, I see this area over here. It looks interesting. We can teleport directly just by double-clicking on the map. So this is one of the, uh, the key things that's cool in Second Life. So I'm going to do that uh, and see what happens here. So I'll just double-click right there on that spot. And bang. Now I am standing there, which we could see that we were kind of on the edge of the water there. 
and um, you know that's how I got here to this place which uh, I kind of really know nothing about now if I bring up the map again we can see that I am now here you can see there's the yellow dot we can see this um, this kind of view of the lens of the lens size right now because I have it quite wide angle lens. Let's close the map and uh, let's make it a less you know, we can go in here and use a much narrower lens. Wow that's cool. We're seeing uh, some message there but bring it way in to that so that gives an idea of what what's happening on the map in the next episode we're going to look in, into maps a little bit more and that's six minutes that's way over but that's okay try to try to control it we're learning so that's episode two second life the maps